Here's the first mock-up, starting of it. I just got that uh, D600 Kubota, pulled it out of this uh, junk Jacobson Real Mower, Real King. And uh, the engine runs good. Set it on here. Just barely fits between the frame rails. I'm kind of hoping I can leave it at this height, just trim it enough to where it'll sit level. It's sitting up in the back. Um, that This is the just factory exhaust off the Jacobson. Just turned it one, uh, you know, 90 degrees there. I mean, 45. And I don't know if I'll leave it like that, poking out the side, or I kind of want to poke it up in the air. Um, and here's the factory air cleaner off the Jacobson. It might, might be able to just hang right there, poke in. The, uh, um, basically I could make this engine fit under the hood factory uh, case hood but uh, the radiator is the problem it it sticks up quite a bit higher than the engine so I don't know if I can lower it down if water won't flow properly or I might have to trim the hood but we'll see where it goes next this is the <clears throat> uh, electric blade engagement clutch that came on the uh, the Jacobson um, I didn't know what was I was going to find under here, and when I unbolted it, I was happy to see it had a just a keyed output shaft on it, which a lot of times with the uh, Kubota engines, it's hard to get the, from, from that flat flywheel to a keyed output shaft without having like a machine shop make something for you. They're pretty expensive to just buy them. But I was, it was awesome to see that, and then when I took the... This is the factory Kohler out of the case tractor. When I took the hydraulic pump off of it, and the Lovejoy is, the Lovejoy that came on that is the perfect size to just slip right on, right on the output shaft of the Kohler. So, I mean, it, that just makes everything so much easier going forward. Here's my progress so far on the hydraulic pump mount. Here's the hydraulic pump and the factory mount off the Case 220. And this is what I've kind of, this is what I'm working with so far. Just got some, this piece of angle iron, found some bolts in the, bolt holes in the engine that weren't used, top and bottom. And then those two little pieces they didn't quite touch this, touch this ring, but it was so close that I felt like I had to clearance it around there. And this is still thick enough, I think, to have plenty of strength in those thinner spots. And then this, there isn't enough room um, between the flywheel to put bolts in there, so I'm hoping I can just tack weld or weld this straight there, and that'll be the hydraulic pump. Got it welded on there and then um i put this hose clamp on the two pieces of the lovejoy i don't know i've never s i hope that'll line it up straight i'm hoping so at least it holds it on there and then i had to go and cut a uh access port in this pump mount here and i'm gonna slide it on there and then weld it and i hope it i hope it'll be aligned and straight I drilled these holes, bolted it through. I'll do the same thing on that side. And then these are the tabs I welded up on the, um, this is the original motor mount. It kind of mounted out here. So I welded those legs that just stick down on both sides. And I'll just set them on, set them on these, then line the engine up front and back and straight and weld them in place and then I can take those bolts out and pull the engine off later. Here it is, roughed in. 
got it's all bolted down hydraulic pump is hooked up and I actually got the hydraulic system the hydraulic cooler isn't on it but the hydraulic system is all looped together and there's fluid in that tank no coolant in it no radiator but I couldn't resist just firing up just to hear it run again I've broke this frame right here before. This seems to be the weak, the weakest point of the frame. You're, when you're plowing snow, the front of the plow kind of mounts in these holes and it puts up torque on that. And then, you know, basically this is all that's holding. So I've broke that before and it's welded up now. So now this, I got this piece going. This angle iron will span between these two and I'll weld it there and there and then it'll be you know all welded the whole way fit on like that and then i got this tacked up here with these little rubber mounts that's what's going to hold the that's what's going to hold the radiator on there and then the uh, oil cooler an oil tank will mount out here somewhere in the front of the hood, and then I'll cut the extra off and finish this up later. I take it all back apart, but now I got it, all the mounts I built, welded in for good. Then I can start, start the whole reassembly. Got it painted, this Chevy, uh, Chevy orange red. That is a pretty good match for the case, orange. I can't barely tell the difference. And the end of part one. It's running. Running and driving still needs still needs a lot of work. Another part, but I'll show you. This isn't gonna be full cold start because I accidentally did this video a second ago and it wasn't recording. Still a little cold. This is the glow plug wire.